सेव किया था ना मैं सिर्फ इसलिए गया था क्योंकि उसने मुझे कॉल किया दैट्स इट बट लिसन तो सेव इट फॉर समवन एल्स जिंदगी में सेव करना जरूरी है मगर जब बात पैसों की हो सिर्फ सेविंग से काम नहीं चलेगा इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड्स में इन्वेस्ट कीजिए और अपने सेविंग्स को आगे बढ़ने का मौका दीजिए म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल स्कीम रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स केयरफुली इन स्मॉल क्लिनिकल ट्रायल इन दूएस Researchers have managed to use the CRISPR gene editing tool to alter immune cells and engineer them to recognize tumors specific to an individual's cancer. These genetically edited cells were inserted into patients and their immune systems went on to fight cancer a little bit more efficiently. The team describes this as the most complicated therapy ever attempted in the clinic and this could probably be right. The technique involves deleting or knocking out specific genes that drive the immune system activation against cancer as well as inserting or knocking in an artificial receptor that guides cancer cell recognition. This is the first time that these two techniques that of removing genes and that of inserting genes are combined in a single step in a single therapy thus modifying immune t cells in patients immune systems and getting them to fight tumors that they can't otherwise recognize the trial performed by universities through pact pharma a private biopharmaceutical company combines two major areas that show immense promise for cancer treatment crispr or gene editing and personalized therapy where immune cells target specific tumors All individuals have T cells in their immune systems. We all do. These cells have receptors on them. The cells use these receptors to find and target cancer cells and destroy them. But many times patients simply do not have enough T cells to mount a persistent and effective attack so that the destruction of cancer cells is completed. Not just that, the receptors are different for different people. So treatment using these receptors have to be personalized for each individual cancer patient. This experiment showed that both of these are possible and are safe and can potentially succeed to a very efficient level. CRISPR technique has previously been used in humans to remove specific genes to allow the immune system to be more activated against cancer. It has also been used separately to insert specific genes that target cancers. This new study which was conducted at nine different centers demonstrates early proof of concept that a patient's immune system can be reprogrammed to recognize their own cancer. Researchers not only took out specific genes but also inserted new ones in immune cells making the immune cells recognize mutations in a patient's own cancer cells. So what they did was that they identified receptors that could treat cancer then edited T cells to use these receptors to hunt for cancer and then put the T cells back into the body when infused back into the patients these genetically engineered cells flock towards cancer cells and thus are able to sustain an attack for much longer This was a phase 1 experiment and it was performed with 16 patients with solid tumors including colon breast and lung cancer phase 1 studies typically are performed with fewer than 10 individuals and test for safety and whether a method can potentially work the research shows an efficient way to isolate immune receptors from patient's blood using new technologies as well the t cell therapy essentially involves taking a patient's t cells from their blood genetically modifying them outside in a lab making them better at finding cancer cells and killing them and then infusing them back into the patients this has been done before with blood cancers and it has worked really well but it has never been attempted before for treating solid tumors which are much more complex and resilient In this trial researchers used these individual patients blood samples to directly isolate T cells. These cells target mutations related to each person's individual cancer because cancer cells have changed proteins on their surface which these receptors can detect. The patient's immune cells were isolated from their blood based on the ability to bind to 315 mutations of cancer. These T cells were then sequenced 
leading to further identification of 175 unique cancer-specific T-cell receptors. Three such receptors were selected for each patient based on their cancer and were used for this personalized therapy. These selected T-cell receptors were then CRISPR engineered to remove two genes and replace them with cancer-specific receptors. They were then multiplied to larger numbers and larger quantities. And all of these receptors, these T-cells and their receptors were infused back into each patient after a course of preparatory chemotherapy. The researchers immediately saw that the gene-edited T-cells preferentially trafficked or made their way to the patient's tumors. They could also obtain proof of this through biopsies that were performed after infusion. These biopsies showed a higher number of transgenic CRISPR-edited cells than there were before. In many patients, this experimental trial led to tumor reduction and slowdown in the rate of tumor growth. In some patients, especially those with lung cancers, it led to a reduction in size of tumors and lesions. Patients showed the expected side effects but did recover promptly. While none of them have yet seen their cancer completely disappear, the experiment demonstrated safety and efficacy in phase 1 and will be repeated with more people in future experiments in phase 2 and phase 3 trials. Now, this experimental trial is groundbreaking for various reasons and offers proof of concept for several cutting-edge technologies and steps to reprogram an individual's immune system to fight the cancer that they have. The authors also note this, that it demonstrates the feasibility of isolating and cloning multiple T-cell receptors that can recognize patient-specific cancer mutations using gene editing with CRISPR to knock out existing receptors and insert modified receptors in a single step. It also demonstrates the ability to manufacture clinical-grade T-cell receptor engineer T-cells safely infusing up to three different gene-edited T-cells and it shows the ability of these transgenic T-cells to traffic preferentially to patient tumors. The study strongly suggests that there is very bright future potential for T-cell therapy in solid cancers and its safety profile is now established with this trial. However, this particular small experiment itself is not without limitations. There is extreme time, labor and expenses involved in this process and it is not scalable just yet. That said, this is the dawn of a new era in personalized cell therapy for cancer. So in the future, as more and more such studies and trials come out, we can soon expect to find more such genetically engineered T-cells performing even better and ultimately, hopefully, curing some types of cancers.